Hello everyone, I'm Molly from Bell Farms. All right guys, so I'm bringing you back. Today is Wednesday. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day today. I think it's supposed to get up to like 52 or something like that. So Shane's already here. He's out back um, doing some stuff with the skid steer. I can hear that. But my plan for today is to get my tractor washed. Um, I have a new hood for my tractor. So I'd like to get my tractor cleaned out and washed. I did not do that at the end of the year last year. Um, I should say at the end of fall tillage, I did not do that. So I definitely need to go give my tractor some TLC. So that's the plan for today. Um, I'm sure there's some other little stuff I'm gonna get into, but we'll go check out and see what Shane's doing. All right, guys. It's like Shane's moving some stuff around. Uh, we have put some equipment into that closet already. I see him, he's driving in the container. I'm gonna get my microphone on so you guys can hear me better and we'll go check him out and see what we're doing. All right, guys, so in this box is my new hood. So the hood that I have on my tractor is made of uh, like a plastic fiberglass kind of thing. And for whatever reason, when we got that tractor, it was used and the hood had some cracks in it and some stuff like that. So every single time that we open up that hood, a uh, piece of it would fall off. And uh, we had some little things we needed to fix on that tractor and we put a new radiator in it last year. And that really seemed to smarten it up. So we decided, okay, so we're definitely gonna keep it. Um, and this year we went ahead and bought a replacement hood for it. So I'm excited to get that going. Uh, I do need to get the decal kit for the hood. So we'll have to go on the John Deere website and um, put in the information for the tractor and get the decals for it. Cause right now it's just green. I was in the pen this morning getting eggs and <laughs> I get to the post office and I have eggs in my pocket. <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll make these eggs for lunch or something. I'm not sure, <laughs> kind of funny, but uh, all right. So I'm gonna go get myself set up. Uh, I've gotta get my pressure washer out here and some cleaning supplies and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get that stuff ready to go. I'm not sure when the van's here. Uh, I don't know if Raymond's planning on loading it or not. I might take a peek and see if there's any potatoes in there. Um, but then I'll get this out of the way so I can pull my tractor over here. I'm gonna try and work in the sun today. Um, it is it's gonna be, definitely be a nice day out today, but you can feel the difference in the shade. Uh, I definitely wanna stay out in the sun where it's a little bit warmer. All right, guys, I'll bring you back when I'm getting ready to pressure wash. So what is your plan? Whatever. Whatever. Okay. I'm play around out here. Clean up. Yeah. All right. You're just going to pick up shit out here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Drive around, do some stuff. She was happy to see me today. Bessie Bass. Bessie Bass. Look what I got, Bessie. I got treats. You vicious creature. All right, I don't think I need anything else in here. The only thing I'll bring back here. <laughs> Look at this 
Kind of a pain. Anywhere over here is fine. I'm just gonna kind of take up this little spot, I think. I guess I need this hose. Do we have another hose? There was one on yeah, there. Real. It. It's out back. Can I borrow it for a little bit? Okay. I'll get it for you. I can close this up now, right? I gotta show you guys inside the case van. All right, so the last video was us packing on Friday. Today is Wednesday. So we're gonna go in here and check this out because it's actually a lot of potatoes that have come out of here in just one load. We packed yesterday. Turn some lights on. Yeah. All right. So I talked a little bit about all these tote bags in here in the last video or the one before that, but I'm going to go over what's in these tote bags and how we use those. But for the pile, check this out. So I have revised my guess on how much is left in here. I think that there is two loads left in here, two full loads. So when you guys saw the video on Friday, we said four, we took one out already. I think there's two left. So we were off by maybe one, but still a light change. You never know. There's a lot of chefs in this pile though. I mean, these are some big potatoes in here. We had, we had a really nice crop this year. Um, lots of potatoes. So we've got the culverts up here that are stacked upright. We'll get those outside. Um, so all of these tote bags. So we've got chef potatoes. We've got mostly chefs in here. I can see some bees back there, but basically what's left in these tote bags is the chefs that we've separated out from the pile, the size B, which are the smaller potatoes, and then our number twos. So once that pile on the ground is gone, we will be working out of these tote bags. So once the pile is all done, then that means that we are all finished shipping full tractor trail loads. So that'll conclude our season with that. And then all these other potatoes in these tote bags will get us by till our new crop comes in. So I did have some questions about that. And generally speaking, um, it's pretty close. We think about how many of these bags of chefs we need to get our local customers through the rest of the months until we start harvesting and it's somewhere around 200 of these tote bags of chef potatoes so that's our goal to make sure we have enough of those to get through so we won't be selling any loads of chefs uh, we definitely keep all of those for our local customers um, so yeah so generally speaking we do have enough potatoes to get through if we do run out what we will do is we will buy some potatoes from a farm that has started harvesting already. So there'll be new potatoes and we always buy the same variety as what we grow here. So our customers have a very comparable product. So they're obviously are happy when that is finished and we start harvesting our own potatoes, but it's just enough to get us through for, you know, a few weeks usually is what it ends up being, if at all. So last year we did have to buy a couple, uh, 
we bought, I think, a whole load of potatoes, a whole tractor trailer load of chefs, I think. I don't really know. Don't quote me on that. I'm, I uh, can't quite remember. But we sell them in the 50-pound bags from the farm that we purchased them for. So they will not say Bell Farms on them. They would say, you know, uh, Swaz Farm or whatever it is, wherever it is we get them. Um, we don't repackage them into our bags. We sell them as is. And it's only 50-pound chefs is what we buy. So we have a pretty good stash in here. We're still going to get a lot of tote bags of chefs out of what's left in this pile here. But yeah, so that's kind of how this works. Once the pile's done, we work out of these and we'll just bag per order. And that usually equates to one to two days a week that we'll do some bagging. And it's not like a full day of bagging. Like you guys have seen in our videos, we usually will lift these tote bags up over a hopper and then we'll run them through a line or we'll just run them through a bagger um, and hand sew them just like you see us sewing uh, the chefs and stacking those. And we'll do however many pallets we need for that week's deliveries. Um, so that keeps them nice and fresh. And I just want to show you guys like, you know, these potatoes, they don't have any sprouts on them or anything like that. And they'll get regraded one more time when they go through the bag or into the bag. We, we take a look at them again. But yeah, so that's what the storage is looking like today on Wednesday. All right, guys, got my supplies ready here. All right, so I'm gonna go get my tractor started up. Shane's gonna do some cleanup on the skid steer. Put a new battery in my tractor last year, so hopefully that uh, means it will start right up. So this is the stuff I was talking about here. I mean, this whole piece is even missing, so it'll be good to get rid of that hood. Hello, tractor. Oh, just like I left you. Dirty. All right, cool. So, <clears throat> let's see. Just like that. <laughs> awesome. So what I've got to do in here today is I've got to take out all the stuff and and then I'm going to uh, blow out all the dust and clean the windows and then I'm going to pressure wash the outside. So we'll see. I might just pressure wash the outside. We'll get that hood on and then I'll clean the inside. So I'm going to let this warm up for a little bit and then I'm going to drive it over and start cleaning. It's nice to be driving a tractor again. So I'm just going to shut it off and we'll go out and start cleaning.
All right, guys, so I'm going to take this time to answer a few questions that people had. Um, first of all, a lot of people are asking when we were going to start planting. So the goal is to start as early as possible. Um, generally speaking, we start planting the end of April, early May, depending on how the season goes. So we have a little thing we go by over here. Uh, this is what Raymond tells me. Um, there's a pond across the street over by Dave's house and the pond is mostly shaded. So there is ice on that pond uh, a lot longer than there is on the, you know, on the ground and the snow. So usually by the time the ice is melted on that pond, it's time to start planting. I think that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Um, didn't quite get the hood out of the box, but I didn't think we were today anyways. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.